Hello guys, I'm back. How's everyone? I hope everybody is okay. Um, today I'm going to crochet a bunny ears and I am going to use a baby sports weight yarn number 3 and size C 2.75 millimeter crochet hook and I am going to use a marker. This is the marker that I am using. I bought this from Amazon. And okay guys, come and join me to make this ear for the bunny. Okay, to begin, make a magic ring. Wrap around yarn on your finger twice. One, two. And then remove the ring. And into the ring, we are going to make 10 single crochet. Make a chain one. This does not include as a single crochet, okay? So make 10 single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we are going to close the ring. If you see these two strands here, one is inside and one is outside, we are going to pull the inside strand halfway from left to right pull it halfway and now we are going to pull the tail nice and tight okay now the the ring is secured and for the tail i am going to crochet this along as i go it's up to you if you want to crochet it along or you want to leave it behind and wave it later okay for the next round we don't need to join it okay because we are going to work for the spiral spiral um stitches okay now for the second round we are going to make two single crochet in each stitches around with a total of 20 single crochet make two single crochet into the first stitch one I am going to use the marker at this point. If I am using a marker, I always put my marker into the beginning chain so that I know when to join it or when to stop, okay? Make one more into the same stitch. So we have two single crochet into the same stitch. And Continue your round with two single crochet in each stitches with a total of 20. okay guys remove the marker I have the total of 20 single crochet and for the next round we are going to make one single crochet in each stitches around put the marker again in the beginning of the round make one single crochet around Go ahead and complete your round. I finished my round and now I remove the marker. So for the fourth round, we are going to make one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, put your marker again. One single crochet in each of the next three and then two single into the next one single in each of the next three 
two single into the next one in each of the next three two single okay repeat this around and I will meet you for the joining okay I have 25 single crochet around and remove the marker and for round five to nine we are going to make one single crochet and each stitches around okay guys this the next round five until round nine make one single crochet and each stitches around and make sure to maintain the 25 stitches in total okay don't forget to use your marker as you go okay go ahead and make your complete your round five to nine making one single crochet in each stitches around and i will meet you for the next round i finished my round nine and this is how it looks like now and for the next round 10 remove your marker and for the round 10 we are going to do the decreasing so make one single crochet in each of the next three one put your marker two three and then we are going to use the two stitches to do, to make a decrease insert hook into the next stitch grab the yarn insert hook into the next stitch grab the yarn we have three loops and hook draw all loops okay that is the single crochet decrease now make one single crochet in each of the next three one two three and then make a decrease again okay one single in each of the next three and then decrease one single in each of the next three go ahead guys and complete your round by repeating this process okay I have the total of 20 single crochet around now remove your marker and for the round 11 and 12 yeah for the round 11 and 12 we are going to make one single crochet in each stitches around okay go ahead and make your one single crochet around for the round 11 and 12 and I will meet you for the next round I finished my round 11 and 12 and I have the 20 single crochet still okay for the round 13 we are going to make a decrease make a one single crochet in each of the next two stitches put your marker don't forget to use your marker guys so that you won't lose of your counting one single in each of the next two and then decrease into the next we're going to use the two stitches here to make a decrease insert hook into the next stitch grab the yarn insert hook into the next stitch grab the yarn we have three loops on hook draw all loops we just made the single decrease and one sing one single in each of the next two stitches and then decrease one single in each of the next two decrease one single in each of the next two decrease 
one in each of the next two and then decrease okay now remove the marker and we should have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen we should have fifteen stitches around okay For round 14 and 15, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitches around with a total of 15 single crochet. Um, yeah, go ahead guys and make your round 14 and 15 by making one single crochet in each stitches around and I will meet you for the next round. I finished my round 14 and 15 and I still have the 15 single crochet around now for the round 16 we are going to do the decrease so make one single crochet into the first stitch and then put your marker and make a decrease into the next we have three loops on hook draw all loops okay there's a decrease and then single crochet into the next decrease into the next single crochet and then decrease single crochet and then decrease single and decrease okay guys you should have the total of 10 single crochet around okay now for the round 17 to 24 we are going to make one single crochet in each stitches around and Make sure to maintain the 10 single crochet in each uh, rounds, okay? So go ahead and finish your round 17 to round 24 by making one single crochet in each stitches around and I will meet you for the next round. Okay guys, I finished my round 17 to 24 and I have 10 single crochet stitches still. Okay, for the last round, we are going to fold uh, flatten the ear okay flatten the ear and then by using both thickness okay by using both thickness we are going to crochet together one crochet it together across two three four now we can close our work here and make sure to leave a extra link for you to sew into the um, doll later on the bunny doll and this is how the ear look like this measures approximately five inches long okay just make sure guys that you make two of this to make a pair for your bunny doll and this is how the um, ear look like okay we finished another project guys thank you for joining me and um if you have any more question about the stitches just leave a comment below the description box and i will try my best to respond as soon as i can and yeah, this is not that difficult to make anyway so okay thank you for joining me guys and um if you haven't subscribed yet just go ahead and subscribe and um, click
click the notification bell so if I have new video it will uh, notify you guys thank you for joining me and see you again for the next video thank you bye bye